We're going. Hello. Hi. I'm Sophie. Do you know this camera is staring at me? <laughs> I'm Elle. And we are the Botanical Yarn team and we thought we would do a podcast. I've roped Mel in to do a podcast. And um roped. Yeah. And around my wrist. Pun, pun there. Oh. Um so yes. I thought we'd just have a little chat and talk about what we've made. Firstly, I want to talk about this little chappy. Oh, well, who wouldn't want to talk about this little chappy? I mean, he's my little friend. I have to knit myself friends. Because <laughs> the real ones don't work for Sophie. So I knit myself friends. So this is a pattern from... Have you named him? No, I haven't. What should we call him? No idea. No idea, Bear. Good done. No, <laughs> no idea, Bear. No idea, bear. Um, pattern from Probably by right. from Cynthia by Cynthia from Cynthia. I think is her Instagram. And um, this is the Tutsu bear. No. Yes, that's it. It that's is. It. And we pull a bear sparkle. Yep. Yeah, so white undyed sparkle yarn, and the tail and the ears. I particularly love <laughs> particular ears particularly with a little pom pom hat. Amazing. You are cute, aren't you? Yeah. I know, right? Amazing. And then Mel also made the little hat and the. Um, jumper. That's the word. Also, for somebody for. else's genius pattern, not mine. Yeah. Because <laughs> let's From not Cindy. pretend I have a genius pattern. Give over, give over. <laughs> anyway, Let's so that's what Mel's busy making over the uh, Christmas holidays. I have very excitingly been making. I won't show you that side because I. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Great. Right there. Still got a nose? Yeah, it's still oh, okay. We've got lips, we've got it. <laughs> No, this is brilliant. Um, and yes, what? we use these as bashing instruments. <laughs> we just bash one another with them, clearly. Or just ourselves, in fact. Yeah. We don't need one another. Yeah. And the funny thing is, this is what me and Mel are like. <laughs> Actually, this is what... Daily. Daily. I'm already crying. Yeah, right? I am as well. This is what it's like on a daily basis, trying to yeah. actually do some sensible work. <laughs> Rap orders, Anything sensible. Yarn. I mean... Anyway, anyway, so... I take a full <laughs> take a full if you want me to hold back, dear. I just feel like So I have made needs... these socks inspired with with the leftover shawlography yarn. And um oh, gorgeous are they you're such a good model. <laughs> I look. Here's one she made earlier. So I had a lot of yarn left over from the shawlography, so I decided to knit some socks. Inspired by Linda of Barbara Knits. Um, she has done a sock knit along to um, socks to match ma socks to match your shawl. Um, so I've done some stripy socks, but oh, I, I changed. A bit of these. They're a bit wet. Sorry. No, I'm a bit jealous them. of these. Um, I think well, they're I'll, beautiful. You, I'll give you leftovers. Thanks. So I did five rows of each colour and then changed them. I tried to do the weaving Stephen method, but. Um, it kept going undone and it was like a gap. So you can see on the other side, I haven't sewn the ends in yet. Um, so start, yeah. Don't. Sewn <gasps> <Some> the ends in? <laughs> oh, That's a step too far. That's a step too far. Anyway. Let's show them the nice side, not the exactly. side that you haven't. We should, you know, we show the perfect side. Oh. this Instagram. <laughs> it's going everywhere. It's got to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> also, I've got to show you our Alcamilla Mollus jumpers. Mm -hmm. So these. Like yeah, Mel's modelling the other pink one. So that's the one in two colours. Um, so this has been designed by Vera Rain, um, Vera Vamalaki. I apologise, Vera, I've not pronounced your surname correctly. Um, and I'm wearing the one in three colours, which is slightly tight. Um, and it's also held with a strand of mohair. So um, for that one, it's got the mohair fluffing. fluffing. Yes, which is nice. So it comes with a mohair mini skein. And then the same on this one, you can see a bit of the fluff there. Can't remember where I'm looking at. So, so yeah, this is where I forget I'm wearing it and just go, go home. home. Yeah, yes. fine, that's fine. It's like totally. a good plan. <laughs> but it's also using the non-superwash 100% merino yarn. Um, mm. So I'm trying to use more non-superwash, less treated yarn. Um, a, because it's better for the environment, and they wear very well as garments, mm. so there's less stretchy. Um, I've been wearing a superwash merino nylon jumper, which is a Nordic Nights by Jen Steingas, which Catherine knit for me, and it is stretchy, you know, it's lost a bit of its shape, so going forward I'm going to try and knit garments, all my lovely sample knitters are going to try and knit garments in non-superwash so they hold their shape. Mm. Um, I like things that hold their shape, because my body doesn't, so I prefer no, to wear doesn't. things that, that actually hold, hold shape. 
Um, also, this one is the Ashmore sweater, um, Beautiful. designed by Rachel Ilsley, and Sleep. Rachel lives about 30 minutes down the road um, from us in Buttercram. And <coughs> <coughs> she's just having a choke behind the Ashmore sweater. Um, and we've got some exciting news. So on the 1st of March, I'm launching a Kickstarter campaign. Oh, this is very exciting. I'm not going to tell you anything else. That's it. But Rachel is designing something for the Kickstarter campaign. Does it involve ice cream? Uh, no. Oh. No ice cream, I'm afraid. No, I'm afraid. So yes, that's a bit there. Um, what else have we got to show you? The floral face it. Oh, I love this. It's the tassels. Scarf. So this has been designed by Twinset Pearl. So Joe of Twinset Pearl. Uh, <laughs> it was like that scene in Bridget Jones. You know, when she's doing that oof. What's she <laughs> Sorry, people. Um, Sorry. Where she's like, have it off, you know, the, and she's doing that <laughs> yes. show thing, like QEC. I love Bridget Jones. She was modelled on me. Yeah, obviously. And Dory. <laughs> um, So this is the pattern <laughs> with the January box. You've modelled that. You can wear it if Beautiful. you like. Thank you. And then there's also the cowl. <laughs> So um, this is using 14 uh, 20 gram mini skeins and 100 gram contrast, so light grey. Um, so Jo will be releasing the pattern <laughs> of this um, very soon on her website. Um, but for the moment it's just exclusive to us. Um, so but I will continue to do kits for it. So that's the cowl as well. Um, what else would I show you? Can't show you that yet because they're the January Twin Set Pearl Sock Club. Um, but I'm gonna ask you to reach over there. Oh, where am pink. I going? This one? Yeah. Can you <gasps> hook this it down? One? Hang on, can I hook it down without me knocking everything down? Look at that. <laughs> oh. So this is the Galentine's Day colorway, which launched on Saturday. Um, and I think a sock set, yeah. Is that the sock set as yeah. well? And then there's a mini skein yes. set as well. Oh can my see goodness. There? Is that over here? Yes. Is that it? So I've done a sock set for it and a mini skein set. So those five colours, four colours, sorry, are in here and then there's one mini skein of this 100 gram colour. So that's the Galentine's. Galentine's. <laughs> Why are you blowing at kisses? Because Galentine's. You kiss the Valentine's. Why can't you kiss Galentine's? True. Um, I think we'll just have it. I just kiss wool though, not people. <laughs> yeah. And then we've also got the purple thing. Purple thing? This yeah. purple thing? Yeah. <gasps> this purple thing? That's the very Perry fade. So that launched on Saturday as well. You're so good at this. Thank you. <laughs> You're a natural. Well, I aren't moving, that's why. I don't knock anything down this way. <laughs> so this is the Pantone colour of the year. I'm just going to press that one down. Oh, thank you. Um, and they're available in DK as well, which is exciting. Nice. So quite a few Yum. people ask for DK mini skeins as well as four ply. Um, and then I've also done a Pantone mini skein set. Is that under there as well? Somewhere? this one? No, the similar colours to the Pantone. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's oh. Blanket Club. Oh, hang on. What's this one? No, Blanket oh. Club again. Oh, you see? <laughs> Shouldn't leave me in charge. What colour am I looking for? Purple? Yeah, this one? mini skin. No, it's the same. Oh. Anyway, oh. there's a mini skin set. Sorry, to, I failed to, on that one. To, uh, it's quite alright, quite alright. So yeah, there's some new stuff that we've uh, done. Um, Don't look around too much in case I'm not going I'm being very good. I'm on my best behaviour. You are on your best behaviour. Mm -hmm. So what are you planning to make next? What am I planning to make next? Well, I'm actually nearly finished, so hang on, there you go. I'll hold them. Oh, 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 oh. Just, yeah, we'll just put them this back. Where, we'll just put them back, actually, and then you don't have a Nice project up. bag. Thank you. I don't know where I got this from, but it's very beautiful. Oh, um, look at your pins. yarn with my little pins, look. I'll just pick the fluff up. Soulmates, pick the fluff up. That's for my blanket, because whenever I'm knitting, I'm curled up in a blanket. <laughs> totally so the fluff okay. is from the blanket. Very oh, good. resting knit face, which looks like this. <laughs> That's my concentration resting knit face. So yeah, I'm in the middle of, so I just, I finished some socks, didn't I, for Christmas, and I'm in the middle of the, ma the matching winter cowl, but I didn't quite finish it on account of the fact that my kittens, I got up to make a cup of tea, and they chewed and <laughs> basically broke my knitting needles, and my lovely little tulip stops at the end, they were on the side. I have no idea where they are. I have searched every orifice of my sitting room and no, they've gone because... Say orifice of your husband? <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm 
if it's no. it would no. find the tulip stoppers <laughs> <laughs> i would i would do no. that too no. but unfortunately i haven't found no. them the only way i could carry on knitting yeah because these are broken i don't know whether you can tell this because i took a picture and put it on instagram and they were really really badly sharp is we got some sandpaper clever but it means this one doesn't work very well <laughs> yeah. well as long as but you've got your working it, one it allowed me to carry on a little bit last night but yeah, so this is the winter. Who's the, you would know who this is. Yeah, by, but Sarah I don't. Raponen. Um, um, so this is the Festive Eve box. Yes. Um, so Mel has used her my minis. leftover. Yeah, from, from her my festive flowers. Oh, so that's so nearly good. finished, and then after that, oh, I've got such a, I've got yeah, yeah just mind the okay, you know okay. sharp ends yeah. of the kitten chewed thing. Yeah. I do love my kittens still, just. And then after that I've got some neon goodies in here. So I've got neon goodies ready. This is also from the mini skein set because I'm going to make some socks with this. And I've got oh, all sorts. And I've got a bunny rabbit to do. Yeah, bunny ordeal from Cynthia. Yeah. This is beautiful. All sorts. Oh, that's oh. Luna. <laughs> Hello Luna. <laughs> Luna the Dasher did under the chair. Luna she is feeling a little to, left out, aren't you, darling? Be... And now you've you've heard your name, haven't you? So we have to give come you on a little nose. Are you gonna come, come on? Up? Come on. The book. No, she's probably not gonna do it. She now. probably heard oh. the mention of kittens. Come on then. Actually, come it's on. probably what she heard. Oh she probably she thought, is. Oh, here she is! Hello! Say hello she has got a coat on. Look. Oh, because it's minus 1.5 outside. And <laughs> Mel. <laughs> Is it minus one so point? So tell the story. Oh well, so obviously on my yarn. I'm a little bit like Dory. No, actually Dory was, Dory from Finding Dory and Finding Nemo was, was obviously on Model. me. And, but you um, have a good reason for that. Well I do, I do have a medical reason for a brain injury, but I was like Dory before that, so I really can't <laughs> kind of say it's mainly that. So my processing isn't as good as it used to be, and so I just like leave the house thinking everything's normal, I haven't been out in the car for a few days, and I thought, oh I can't quite open this car door, <laughs> what's going on? Because I'm oblivious to the fact that we're in a winter wonderland and it's January, which you would expect in January, but obviously I dress like I'm in summer. And um, I couldn't open the door and I got in, and I thought, oh I'm going to be late, uh, and I was just processing do we have a scraper when my lovely husband who quite honestly deserves a medal <laughs> comes out <laughs> living with me comes out with jugs of pre-prepared hot water because he's already clocked it and he pours it all over the windscreens <laughs> with a wry smile as if to say I got you. Dory Sorted. but I did get to work on time as a result Amazing. because I, I had no idea because obviously it was warm in my house no coat, nothing. No. Look at that gorgeous face. Look. So Luna loves Mel as much as Mel loves Luna. Oh, she's like the love of my life. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> she's the love of my life, aren't you, Luna? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got. In, can you pass me that this little one? bag down there? I'm going to put the dog down. <gasps> yeah. So I am currently working on. Oh, oh you can love Luna. Oh, she wants to. Oh, come on then. So I've knit. I've got my sock mojo back. So this is the pink tinsel, <gasps> which was a limited love edition. That colourway that I did. How sparkly it is. So sparkly. <laughs> so I've, I've uh, oh, you almost know. ready. I'm almost ready to decrease. Do you get second sock syndrome? I don't. You know. I don't. But lots of people talk about yeah. second sock syndrome, but I don't ever get it. I'm just excited that I'm starting the second one. Well, I kind of just want to use, I purposely haven't taken more needles home because otherwise I'd have cast on multiple ones. And you want to finish the ones that I you're doing? I want to finish the ones yes. I've done That's so then I can idea. use... Although if you've got kittens, you know, please do take multiple needles. But they cause... won't eat metal ones, will they? No, that's true. Maybe I should have bought metal <laughs> ones. It's okay, the new wood ones are on the way. But then I, so I've joined in, inspired by Costume Sandy on Instagram. Um, I've joined in with the Stripe Sock Knit Along. Stripe Sock Knit Along. Also by, testing my memory here. Exterminates. Remember. Oh, I love Ooh, that name, Exterminates. Exterminates. Um, I'll link on the bottom. Um, but they are doing a striped sock knit along with their self striping sock yarn stash, which I have accumulated quite a bit of socks. So, <laughs> self striping sock yarn. Say that quickly. <laughs> self striping sock yarn. No, still can't get it. And yeah. it's not even a day where you've had some alcohol before saying it's, that. In the it's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I've only had two coffees, so, yeah. you know, we're winning. Okay. Um, but this is some a very special yarn that I've been keeping for a rainy day, which is stupid. I love it. And it's mustache yarn. Um and so it comes as in two... mustache or mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I just wondered. Must stash. Or oh, must stash <laughs> neither. 
Oh, okay, there but you now, go. Slightly now, deaf too, people. Now we should let good. them know that we thought two other names for a business. Oh, okay, yeah. we need to do that. So it's two 50 gram balls. So I'm excited to cast on. It's obviously getting a bit tangled already. So um, we're going to the cinema. So 50 gram, excited. Yeah. So then we're matching. <gasps> I know, right? I thought so it was you start in the middle to match, or the outside? Outside, outside. Ooh. So I'm going to pick the colour on the outside and match them, so the blues, and then they'll match, hopefully. Or maybe they're just random. Oh no, I you can't see. Remember. Are you a random or a matcher in your heart? Well, these those slip extravaganza ones, I they're going to be matching. I have to match. But these, I feel like I might as well just go for it to get maximum yarn usage. Yes, I mean the thing is, I think I'm a matcher with socks because my life is so random anyway. <laughs> Actually, there has to be Fair something enough. in my life that matches. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is what I'm going to cast on in the cinema tonight. <gasps> well, I'm going to cast pre-cinema. So then I'm going to do that in the dark. Yeah. That's I'll hold gonna... my torchlight on my phone. Yeah, underneath here when um, they say turn so off. So last week I went to see West Side Story, the new one, and. I'm obsessed. I didn't Very excited. I didn't see the other one, and we've got two for one. Ticket. You didn't know the story, did you? Before I didn't you know. Went? Didn't know. It's one all. of my favourites. West Side Story. Didn't know it at all. So I said to Mel, "We've got two for ones for Tuesdays. Shall we go to the cinema?" So we're going to the cinema. Go to the cinema. Go see West Side Story. And I've I'll got. Sing. I've got popcorn already. Have you? Skinny popcorn. Well done. And I'm prepared. I'm prepared. So yeah, I'm not prepared. I didn't mine. bring a coat. That's my. I'm not going to uh, be prepared for popcorn, <laughs> am I? <laughs> Um, and the other thing down there is oh, yes. oh, me, gorgeous. my so faithful this assistant. Yeah, it's beautiful. The maid. This looks nice. Yeah. So that is February's book club yarn, which arrived yesterday. What, I am um, your maid. I know about your secrets, your dirty laundry. But what do you know about me? I not like so. it already. <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. I'll just move that out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's that's like February's this. book club yarn. So I'm excited for that. That came yesterday. A gripping and heartwarming who done it. I love a who done it. Yeah, me too. So I'm excited. That's yeah, that's brilliant. Um, so the sock, so the wool is going to be. Yeah, did I say sock? I meant book. Book club. So the book club mini skeins will be inspired by that. Book. Book. Book yeah. club. Oh, here's Jan here's December's book Ooh. club. And well, that's the yarn. Pretty. Look so you can that. see the like premise behind it. So you can either have four four ply or DK. Um, I love this yeah. idea though because I'm a massive lover of boots, aren't I? Yeah. Being so, an ex English teacher. Being an ex English teacher. Ex being what it was. <laughs> and now you're a yarn. <laughs> now assistant. I'm a yarn person. So I love this whole idea of matching my favourite things like wool and boots together. I mean, who wouldn't? So we're very excited. I am very but excited. But currently reading This Long Thread by Jen Hewitt, which is amazing. I will lend you it when oh, we're finished. Thank you. It's beautiful. It's a really beautiful book. It's like collectives of stories and. It's very educational and insightful, so I'm excited. I'm just about finishing Femlandia, <gasps> and I, well, I nearly, Phil was like, you cannot read all night, <laughs> so I turned the light off so I couldn't read anymore, because I was like, I can't put this what down. You I'm at the point where she's made an appearance, I knew she wasn't dead. Win. Win. Yes. I yes. knew she wasn't dead. Anyway, I, I, oh, I shouldn't maybe spoil it for Sorry. those that want to read Femlandia. It's a very good book. Yeah, it's by Christina Doucher, and it was a previous book club um, read. And then also I'm listening to Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers, because Ooh. this month's book, blah, 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 this month's book club is also, Jen Hewitt's book isn't on Audible yet, so people that like to listen to books while they craft, we picked another, sorry, I didn't mean to work here. It's <laughs> okay, <laughs> whacking away, second whack of the, the session, I love it. It's not me either, I'm really surprised. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the Audible book this month is uh, Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers. Sorry if you can hear a pitter-patter of Luna walking around <laughs> on the floor. Um, by Claire Chambers, and it's really good, I'm is really it? enjoying it. I'm about 70% through so far and a big twist has just happened so I was like <gasps> listening on the way here so I'm very excited to see I'm that. a girl who can't do audibles because I'm like oh shiny my pie <laughs> <laughs> so if I was listening to an audible I'd be like oh what has it just said for the last half hour I've noticed yeah. everything other than that yeah I, I, I have, have to, to be a corner curl up with the actual thing that's totally okay totally okay so should we call it a day? Yeah. Well, these poor people who are on the end of this really need us to call it a day, really, yeah. don't they? So we're going to try and do short, concise uh, podcasts, vlogs. Short, concise. Has concise. Go mm -hmm. on, modelled concise. Short and <laughs> concise. Mm -hmm. um, 
so yeah let us know what you think and um hopefully we'll be back soon with another don't be too brutal video <laughs> yeah be nice <laughs> it's our first time be gentle oh, oh no the snort i said i wouldn't snort that's like three it's not the... i don't I think it's snorting forever it's, it's obviously your influence people you make yeah. me snort all lunas <laughs> yeah yes right on that note on that note say goodbye bye <laughs>